Hey guys, Xbox Games here. Check it out. Yeah, we're back with another kind of medium set Lego build review here. Now, before we even start, you guys, look, if you haven't subscribed yet, check out the giveaways we do there. Every single Friday, we do giveaway. So get in on those, right? And click that little bell icon so you guys can be notified of when we're doing giveaways. Anyways, let's get right to the set. Uh, this is Lego the Movie 2. Of course, it's kit 70831, Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket. Now, on the package, right, this is kind of a two-in-one. We're all kind of familiar with the three-in-ones. But you can have it where, you can see it right there, you can build it where the rocket's coming outside of the house, so the house is really rocketing. Um, or you can do it like I did, where you kind of have the rocket and the battle station to the side, and of, house, uh, of course, the house kind of solo. Now, I don't want to ruin and do any spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet. But again, you can kind of do both. Really kind of up to you. So again, it is 706 pieces. So for me, it is kind of you know, middle tier, right? Once you go above five, 600 pieces, I consider it kind of a medium to larger kit. And then once you get over a thousand, right? That's just, that's just ginormous. Anyways, let's take a look at the minifigures and kind of see what this thing's all about. So first up first, we got Lucy. Now, Lucy kind of has a standard printing of pretty much the same Lucy you'd get in the poly bags, as well as some of the other, the Lego Movie 2 kits. So nothing too crazy, especially if you just wanted to get this kit. So you can pick her up. It's the same hair, the same printing pretty much as all the other ones. Of course, double faced with the happy face and then more of the mean face on one side. But again, it's the standard printing. So if you're really looking at this, you might as well pick up like the $3 um, or $4 uh, little poly bag if you were just looking for that figure. And it's kind of the same for Emmett. Emmett, them, uh, Emmett himself also is kind of the classic Emmett. So if you're really looking just for the Emmett, perfect. You can go ahead and pick him up, um, you know, in one of the poly bags or one of the smaller sets like his tricycle. Uh, our tricycle, I think is what they call it. You can pick that up as well for a lot cheaper. His printing on his torso, you know, when some of you guys will see it are like, yeah, that's okay. It just feels like they kind of just, just put the, you know, put the print on there and that's it without a, a lot of attention to detail. But maybe that's just me. I'm kind of curious on some of your guys' uh, feedback on that as well. And then of course we got Rex. Now Rex, uh, I think is a pretty cool kit. You can't get him in the smaller kits. You can get him in some of these larger kits like this particular set. But he is, he is pretty cool, right? I really like his hat or his helmet. It really reminds me of um, kind of like a Halo helmet or, you know, like a first person shooter type one. Um, I really wish this was kind of a clear, but you know, again, the dark is kind of cool. The print also on the upper torso and the legs still, again, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired, right? It just, I feel like they just put the colors on and printed and that was it. Uh, not a lot of attention to detail on some of these little smaller parts, you know, like uh, some of the belt buckles and things like that. They could have been like a silver or something like that. Uh, his backpack is kind of cool too. So check that out. These are kind of hard to move for mine. Every time I move them, I pop off his backpack. But hey, maybe that's just how it is. In his face, he has a two-toned face. There are two two picture face. You guys kind of the grunty look on the side and kind of a more mean look on that particular side. But let's get into the actual figures itself, or not figures, but let's get into the actual kind of accessories. Now again, depending on your build, you guys may have this or you may have this integrated into the house. We got kind of the rocket here and kind of this battle station uh, down below, which is kind of cool. You got this kind of moving turret here that you guys can kind of see that it doesn't like to uh, <laughs> to stay on. There we, oh my gosh, there we go. So, you know, if you're not gonna integrate this into the house, I can see where they're just like, okay, hey, let's just, let's just put this as an extra piece so, you know, we can use the pieces and they're not left over. Again, I don't wanna do any spoilers. It is the house that, you know, really you got this kit for. And the house is actually not that bad. You know, you can integrate the rocket into it. Maybe I might do that or change it up here later. But the house is not bad. The colors are great. The yellow, these really nice kind of finished off uh, glossy pieces. And the roof is kind of these, it's a different texture. And hopefully you guys can kind of see that in the video. It's kind of a different texture than the glossy pieces that we typically see. So just kind of keep that in mind. And a lot of attention to detail. You know, you got the... Uh, the uh, kind of the, the, whoa, the polar things here for the door. You got the double hung windows. And I just took out a piece. I don't know where that goes, but check that out. Looks great. Opening up is really where you're gonna see kind of where all the pieces go. So when we look here, I mean, inside the living room there, we got a full setup, right? We got a bed, we got a TV, we got tables, we got a cooking area, a small little pan you can kind of see back there. The upper stairs, of course, we got kind of like a bathroom area with some pipes over here on the side. And of course, you know, a nice little sofa on the bottom down there, a little light, a little, 
uh, kind of a little lamp there. And that lamp is kind of unique. You see that piece right there? Kind of unique. So overall, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, for 706 pieces, it's not that bad. I think it can integrate into a lot of different um, kind of scenes, whether you're building a little Lego house or something like that, or a little Lego city. Um, and you're not bad. Again, we picked it up from our local store. And so, yeah, you know, maybe like a seven out of 10, maybe six out of 10. Cause again, you know, this kind of standalone with the rocket, I'm just like, eh, they could have done something better. But anyways, you know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have it. Uh, I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys have uh, as a particular sets. Anyways, definitely subscribe guys. If you haven't already, we do a lot of reviews. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.